Hello there guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and welcome to another Black Ops 2 video. Now, let's take a look at this screenshot here. Now, most of you will probably see this and think, Oh my god, this is so fake, oh my god! But, but, hear me out, there is a few things that we can pick from this that uh, we can rule out first. Okay, obviously there's a watermark here from a guy that uploaded the pictures originally, so you could say that was fake straight off, but let's look at this anyway, because you never know it could be real, and I actually believe this is real. Now, uh, we've got the round number on the left, it's obviously kind of out of the shot there. Uh, we've got a text for the, well kind of like a font that has been kind of used in every single screenshot that's been shown off for this game so far. Uh, so we've got the 0 out of 0 for the ammo, and uh, if you notice, the light is more focused on the uh, character's glove than the actual um, actual kind of the rest of the map. If you can tell, the, the map's kind of out of focus, but I think that adds to the graphical kind of detail to the map, because it's kind of more, uh, when the guy's aiming down sight, it's more focused in on actually what he's aiming towards and what his hands are compared to the background. But it does, some people were saying, oh, this looks like a custom World at War map, but I really don't think it is because the graphics do look a lot better than World at War, to be honest. It looks like uh, Black Ops uh, with the whole kind of, just the glove looks very, very like one of the characters that we play as in Zombies. Now, if we take a look at this other screenshot that was leaked as well, we've got a picture from a, a multiplayer game, and if you look at the bottom, We've got, again, the same kind of, um, we've got a, the team icons that we've seen before in other leaked screenshots, and I'll show you another screenshot in a minute, and also on the right we've got the same kind of, kind of font there, and the graphics do look very, very believable. I wouldn't think anyone would have the kind of thought process or actual, I don't know why anyone would actually try to fake this on Photoshop, because to me it actually looks pretty believable. It was also confirmed on David Vonderhaar's Twitter that the multiplayer for Black Ops 2 will be strictly futuristic. We're not going to have any sort of a Cold War 1970s, 80s kind of setting. It's pure future. And as you can see from this gun, it is definitely one of the more futuristic guns. Uh, we don't really have any sort of kill streak looking by the, sound, by the looks of things. May have to zoom in there. You might be able to see something there on the left D pad but it just looks really really believable so if we go back to this zombie picture right here uh, we've got the basis of what looks like a kind of a map with obviously this is an upstairs base it kind of looks like some sort of door which could be a, an elevator that leads up to the uh, leads up to another level it just is really really awesome stuff if we take a look at this picture here that was in a one of the machinima respawn interviews with uh, one of the uh, community managers over at Treyarch. If you look at this picture here, this was actually like a picture which you can get if you take a snapshot of the video, but this shows the same looking font for the ammo and the same kind of looking uh, uh, thing on the bottom left here for the teams and the team icons. So that leads me to suspect that this is highly true. I don't know how this guy is managing to get these sort of screenshots, but I would not think that they were fake but again this is not 100% confirmed so don't take my word for it as on it being 100% true but from my opinion this looks really really true now if we take a look at one more screenshot that was leaked uh, last month in April and then you compare it to the uh, screenshot of the kind of uh, that we saw from the machinima respawn video it's kind of again looks very very believable with, with the text and the font looking the same, and also the icons on the left. If you take a look at these two pictures here, I'm sorry that the pictures are kind of small, but if you look at uh, what, it, what says April's leaked image, I'd like to thank Charlie Intel for these pictures, by the way. You can see the text is kind of similar on with the whole font, and if you look on the left, you've got that team icons that look very similar. If you go down to the trailer that was shown, um, you can see that the uh, Pegasus uh, text is very, very similar to that of the leaked screenshot. So again, I can't really say for 100% certain if this is legit, but I, I would love to say it is because it looks really, really believable. So what do you make of the picture guys? I'd love to know your feedback in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to thumb it up as it's awesome to get the video out there and it's awesome for other people to find out about new zombie news because that is what everyone is most pumped for for Black Ops 2, am I right?
Am I right? And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so as I'll be bringing you guys Black Ops 2 videos as soon as possible. Remember, I can't make videos for Black Ops 2 every single day as I need information to be released for me to make a video on it. But as soon as information is released, you'll find it here on my channel. So let's take another quick look at this picture very, very quickly. Uh, we can see uh, it, it leads into some sort. We've got, like I said, it looks like a kind of elevator that takes you up or another door. And then to the left, I can't tell what that is. I really don't know. If we if we were to back ourselves up a little bit, we'd be able to see what kind of building or setting we're in, but I really can't tell. So I'd love to know your feedback, guys. Like the video, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace!